Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install the Smart Offers for WooCommerce plugin to create one-click upsells in a WooCommerce website. Apart from upsells, you can also create downsells, cross-sells, buy one get one, dynamic pricing, discounts on a WooCommerce website. I'll show you different features of this plugin. This is not a free plugin. Let me first show you an example of one-click upsell. Here I'm on the dummy WooCommerce website. Let's go to all products. Now here I'm going to add one product in the cart. Let's add this product to the cart. I have already created a condition in which if I add any product from this particular category, upsell offer will be shown automatically. So here I have added the product to the cart. Let's go to cart. We are on the cart page and you will see the second offer is popped up. Get 20% discount on eyeliner. If I click on add to cart, it's going to add this product to the cart. Now here in this case, I'm going to skip this offer. And now here you will see the second offer is popped up because we have added the condition. If the first offer is skipped, it will go to the second offer. So this is the second offer, get 10% off. Now I'm going to click on add to cart and this product is going to be added to the cart. This is a downsell. So this is how the upsell and downsell works. Now let me show you other features of this plugin. Here I'm on the website of this plugin and you will see different features, WooCommerce upsells, cross sales, downsells, one-time offers, WooCommerce one-click upsells, order bumps, buy one get one, bulk discount, giveaways, dynamic pricing and discounts. So there are many different features that you can use along with the upsells. So all these additional features are included in a single WooCommerce plugin. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are using WooCommerce on this website. Now we are going to install the smart offers for WooCommerce plugin. This is a paid plugin and not a free plugin. Let me show you the website of this plugin. So this is the website smart offers for WooCommerce. Let me show you the pricing. This is the pricing of this website $149 per year for a single website and $249 per year for five websites. Now per year does not mean after a year it is going to stop. You can keep on using this plugin. However, you will not get any support or any update on this plugin, but you can keep on using this plugin after a year also. I have already downloaded this plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box for this plugin. If you want to buy this plugin, you can use my link. If there is any discount or offer going on this plugin, I'll mention that in the description box. If you want to buy this plugin, you can go to the description box and use my link in the description box. So let's go to the website and upload this plugin. So here I'm on the dashboard, go to plugins, click on add new, click on upload plugin, browse the plugin and click on install now. Click on activate plugin. So the plugin is activated and you're on the dashboard of the smart offers. In the left hand side, you will see the option smart offers and we are currently on the docs and support. So if you need any help, you can refer to the docs and support. You will get the articles here on this page, FAQs, articles, short codes, everything is available on this docs and support. Let's go to all offers. Now here you will see there are some offers already created. So whenever you install this plugin, you will get some sample offers here. So I'm going to create one offer here. So let's go to add new. When you move the cursor on the add new, you will see two different options here, offer and order bump. So you can create offer as well as order bump. So I'm going to create offer here. Click on offer. And let's name it as sample offer one. Whatever offer name you want to add, you can add the name for the offer. So here you will see the content for the offer. I'll show you how does this look. This is the offer title, offer heading. So I'm going to change this one and make it as to get 25% off. So this is the first offer that I'm going to create. 
Now here you will see set up your offer. So this is the section where you can make changes and you can set up the promotional offer. Now let's see the first option is what to offer. Now here I want to make some offers. So I'm going to look for a product. Let's see I want to offer this eyeshadow. Okay right now the price is 198. I want to offer some discount on this one. So I'm going to search for eye shadow. So this is the product. Okay, so this is the product that I'm going to select eyeshadow. The current price is 198 and I'm going to offer 10% discount. Here you will see different options, fixed price, fixed price discount and percentage discount. So I'm going to offer 10% discount on it. So whatever current price is, so this is the regular price 250. There is an offer 198 and I'm going to offer 10 more percent discount on this one. So we have got, we need to make it 10% here. So whatever percentage you want, you can enter the number here. So as of now, I have here, I have mentioned 10%. So I'm going to use 10% eyeshadow on this product. Now offer rules, click on add new rule. So we do not have any rule currently. So we are going to add a new rule here. And here you will see different options, cart or order, user or valid or offer valid. So if you want to create offer for a single user, any particular group of user, you can select user. So I'm going to select cart or order. Now here you will see different options, contains product, does not contain product, total is less than equal to, total, total is more than or equal to. So if the cart order is more than 2000 rupees, for example, then you can make this offer available. Grand total is less than or equal to. So these are the conditions that you can use. So there are many different conditions that you can use to create different types of offers. So I'm going to select this one, contain the product from a category. So any product from this category will get the new offer. So the category is, let's make it as shirt. T-shirt. So any product from the sheet T-shirt category is in the cart then we are going to show this offer. If any product from t-shirt category is in the card, then show this offer. And subtotal of the category is, that is not necessary. Quantity, here we can set quantity is equal to one. Any product, if the quantity is one or more than one product, then you can show this offer. Here also you will see different conditions. Right, show offer on page. So on which page you want to show this offer? So you want to show this offer on the checkout page, cart page before the offer is completed. Or you can also show this offer when the customer is done with the purchase. So here, this is the option, WooCommerce order complete page. So I'm going to select checkout page. All right, now show offer as a pop-up. So this offer will be shown as a pop-up accept options whenever the customer accept this offer do these actions add the product to the cart so this is the preferred action that i will use so whenever someone accept the offer the product will get added to the cart these are the different options remove these products from the cart apply coupons do not apply any coupon so i'm going to use select the first option skip action so whenever the customer is not ready to purchase or not ready with the offer they want to skip then what action needs to be done? Hide this offer, show another offer, redirect to the page or redirect to a URL, instantly check out with buy now. So these are the options. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select redirect to the card page, All right? So this offer will be shown on the card page itself and customer do not agree, then they will be redirected to the card. Right? So let's save the draft and let's see how does this look. Let's see the preview first. Click on preview. So this is how the pop-up will look. Get 10% off. This is the product. If you do not want to show the description, you can do that also. You can see that the regular price, the current price and 10% discount. After 10% discount, this is the price. If they click on add to cart, the product will get added to the cart. If they skip the offer, they will go to the cart page. 
let's see i do not want to show the description here so i'm going to delete description short code and save the draft and preview now this is the new preview you will see the description is not there all right let's close this one and publish this offer all right now i'm going to create a new offer i'll show you how to down sell also so click on add new and click create offer and name it as sample offer 2 and let's make it as get 20% discount now we are going to do the same thing here what to offer this time i'm going to use another product let's use this product eyeliner the previous one was eyeshadow then we are going to use eyeliner 20 percent discount on it so search for the product eye this is the product eyeliner so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to offer 20 percent discount percentage discount offer rules the same offer rule cart contains the product from the category and category will be shirt if you want to make this offer available for a single product you can use that also contains product and you can add number of products there so any one of these products are in the cart the offer will be shown so as of now i'm selecting category of the shirts now this show offer on the cart page and show offer as a pop-up accept option will be add the product to the cart and for the skip action i'm going to use a down sell that will be the second that will be the first offer that we created so if someone reject this offer it will go to the second offer so i'm going to use this one show another down sell offer and the name of the offer will be sample offer one that we created the one so i'm going to select this offer sample offer one and i'm going to change the priority of this offer so we have created two different offers for the same product category so i need to set this second offer at the highest priority so that it will be shown first all right now skip action is done let's click on publish let's go back to shop this is the shop page i'm going to add one product to the cart so let's use this one this is from the same category click on add to cart right so the product is added to the cart now i'm going to the cart we are on the cart page and you will see the second offer is popped up get 20 percent discount on eyeliner if i click on add to cart it's going to add this product to the cart now here in this case i'm going to skip this offer and now you will see that the second offer is popped up because we have added the condition if the first offer is skipped it will go to the second offer so this is the second offer get 10 percent off now i'm going to click on add to cart and this product is going to be added to the cart this is a down sale so the first offer is rejected you have another offer and the second offer is accepted this is how the down sale also works let me go back to all offers now here you'll see the stats also this is the sample offer 2 which was popped up first one person has seen skipped one person we have skipped this offer and it has gone to the second offer and here you can see accepted one offer so one person has accepted the offer so this is the main setup that you need to work on so these are the main conditions to create the offer so you will need to play with the rules of the offer and you can create different kinds of offer on your WooCommerce website. So this is how you can use the smart offers for WooCommerce plugin to create different types of offers on your WooCommerce website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.